Before we get started, we have a new members program that we're going to be rolling out to everyone shortly. One of the perks is the ability to look at videos as they're being developed and help shape them. Everybody who's watched the video I'm about to show you said, I need to put a jerk in it, as the English would say. I've added this section up front here. This is going to be like you're at the mall and I'm selling you a slap chopper. I'm going to show you how Shadow PC works really, really quick. And then I'm going to let you watch the presentation, which gives you all of the foundations. Shadow PC is a service like Netflix. You pay $11.99 a month to access a virtual computer. It's your computer. You can put whatever you want on it. It works so fast. There's software that you can load on a bunch of different devices. Here I have a PC. It's not the fastest PC in the world. I can't run Streamlabs. I can't run Photoshop. I can't run Adobe Premiere, but I can run the Shadow app. Start the Shadow app. It's now going to talk to my personal computer, which I believe is in New York. And Bob's your uncle. This is my machine there. And I'll go ahead and start a video. The S Flip View cover for the Samsung Galaxy and Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. There's no, there's no lag. There's nothing. This is fine. This is just like using the machine as if it was here. I'm going to stop the app. I'm going to come over here to a, this is a Mac Mini that we converted to a Mac Mini that we converted to Catalina. And when we did so, it became extremely slow. So it's not usable for anything else. But I can load the software on that. I'm going to go, I'll click on start. Same process. It's now going to go talk to my machine. A couple of seconds later, Bob's your uncle. I will have access to that machine while we're waiting for that. And we're only waiting for it to make that connection. And it's only taking so long because, as I said, this is extremely slow. So there you can see we're already there. And as you can see, it's also still continuing on with the same video that we had before. All right? I don't have the sound plugged in, but you, you get the idea. Now, I know oh. what you're thinking. What qualifies me to talk about phone cases? OK, so I do have the sound hooked up. Same thing with even an iPhone. So let me get out of this real quick. This is just, I should sell slap choppers at the mall. Boy, same deal. I'm going to go ahead, log into my iPhone here. The Shadow app is already on there. Let's just get that to go up. You all know how much I love iPhones. I can go in, I click on Start Shadow. It says Connecting to the Shadow. And that will go ahead. Now, it's obviously very, very small, but it is usable. When I do use it like this, I have a little Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad. I can stand that up against something. And now I have a mini portable Windows computer that I can use. If you are going to go that route, I also suggest you have a pair of these. These are OnePlus readers. My favorite is using any kind of an Android phone or specifically Samsung phones because you can use it with Samsung DeX. Okay. You can use a Chromebook, you can use a Mac, you can use a PC, you can use your phone. If you thought that this was a good idea, by the way, leave a comment below and, and hit the like button. If you think that this is not the way to go, then also leave a comment below. Remember, this is your channel and I need your input to help steer which way I present information to you. So without further ado, here is the nice, well thought out presentation of Shadow PC. Do you have a slow computer? an old computer, maybe even no computer? Are there programs that you just need to run that only run on a Windows PC? Programs like Descript or Adobe Premiere or Streamlabs OBS. Do you have $11.99? Then I have a solution for you.
I'm Ormond Beckles, aka The High Tech Nomad, and welcome to another video. This channel is for people who want easy to understand videos covering the basics as well as tips and tricks. We cover cell phones, apps, computers, smart home devices, social media, and more. So if you want to learn how to make technology work for you, start now by clicking the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell icon so you don't miss a video. If you're new to this channel, then you have no idea what I am doing. Of course, if you're from the UK, you know exactly what I was making fun of. I was making fun of a television show called UFO, created in the 1970s by Jerry Anderson, same guy that did the Thunderbirds, for those of you who have been following this channel. The premise was that Earth was being invaded by aliens from another planet. A top secret organization called Shadow used the most advanced resources to defend against these alien beings. Now, to prevent worldwide panic, Shadow was a closely guarded secret, and only a few people on the planet Earth knew what Shadow was and what it did. Which brings us to today's topic. Shadow is a service which is available for $11.99 a month with its accompanying app that you can run on pretty much any device you have will allow you to access about a $3,000 gaming quality Windows computer. And like its counterpart, this Shadow also is completely unknown by most of the people on the planet Earth. But I'm going to let you in on what it is today. Let's take a look at Shadow. Here we are at the Shadow website. It's a subscription service, like a Netflix. Minimum requirement that we have to have is 15 megabytes of internet connection. 15 megabytes, for those of you who say, oh, I have the absolute worst internet connection. If you went and got these components, GeForce GTX uh, 1080, that would be around six or $700. The processor would be about $200 to $300, 12 gigs of memory, that's $300. The drive, $500. The operating system, the case, the labor. So a conservative estimate would be $2,500 minimum. We're gonna to go to subscribe, put in our email address. You can see it's $1,199 a month. That's the pricing as of today, November 21st, in the year of our Lord, 2020. There's a possibility they may drop this configuration. If you're even thinking about it, I would get this configuration. Put in our email address, click continue. Asks us to pick what state we're in because we're in the United States. It's going to ask us which state. If we're in Europe, it's going to ask us a country and then it's going to ask us a region. And the reason for that is in order for this to work, it has to be fast. In order for it to be fast, you can't be too far away from a network operation center. I'm going to pick. Massachusetts. And you see it says, good news. I will try Arizona. It says Arizona is available in your state, but it may be laggy sometimes. That's up to you whether you want to try it or not. You can see what it says. If you encounter any issues, you can get a full refund within two weeks. You'll also notice that it says that in this particular case, you'll see it says your shadow will be ready by December 29th. There is such a demand for shadow. Remember now, they're going to set up a virtual machine for you. There's some housekeeping that needs to be done. When I did my shadow, it took about six hours. It can be six hours, six days, or six weeks before you get it. The sooner you decide you want to do it, the better. For Arizona, they said, we'll let you have it by December 29th. This is not because this is something new. It's the demand is so high. What can we run this on? We have Windows 8.1 or higher. 8.1 is obviously way the heck back there. Both 32-bit or 64-bit. Older machines will be 32-bit. Mac OS goes all the way back to 1010. I believe that's Yosemite, a Mac that is so slow and old. I think we have Catalina on it. You can't do anything. But you load Shadow PC on it. Now we can use that as a workstation. You have Linux. Android devices, anything 5.0 or later, that means tablets and phones, iOS 11, set-top boxes right now is just Apple's set-top bo set box. While not officially on this list, Chromebooks are fine. Chromebooks can run the Shadow app. There's a couple of issues, but for the most part, that's fine and dandy. And my favorite of faves is it will run in Samsung DeX. Any of the devices that have Samsung DeX, you can run 
shadow. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn my Note 20 Ultra into a $3,000 gaming computer. You will get an email saying your shadow is all set and ready to go. At that point, download the app for your device. This is my favorite way to use the shadow PC. I have my monitor, my keyboard, my mouse, and I have a Samsung DeX dock. If you need to know more about DeX, you can go ahead and check out the video I did on that. I have my Note 20 Ultra, which running, which will run Samsung DeX. We've said that you can use DeX on a Note 8, Note 9, Note 10, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in to the dock. As you can see, it comes up onto the screen. This is Samsung DeX. I'm going to plug my keyboard in. There we go. I'm going to go over to the Shadow app. It's going to load up. Now, you don't have to play games. I keep talking about that it's supposed to be a gaming machine. That's why it's so fast. You don't have to play games. But if you do, if you load games onto your machine, it will actually give you a little display here and you can click on a game. If I wanted to play Solitaire, I could just click right on that. It would go right into Windows and right into that game so I don't actually have to do a whole bunch. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Shadow Desktop because I just want to start the regular computer. It's going to go ahead and it says waiting for video and there we go. So I'm now running a $3,000 Windows machine on my Note 20 Ultra. And for programs that like I love Descript, if you've been following along on the channel, it only runs in Windows. I have to have a Windows machine. Streamlabs OBS, if you're into streaming or Streamlabs OBS, this thing's a total game changer because it's going to allow you to use the cameras that you have, but it's in the mic cameras and microphones that you have, but it will send those up to your Shadow PC and stream here, and it's going to stream better than the machine that you have right now, I guarantee. That's a quick look at Shadow. What do you think? If you want to try it out, we do have a code down below. Go ahead and try it. If you don't like it or there's some issue, you can go ahead and get, they'll give you a refund. And if you decide to keep it, you can switch from the $15 monthly to the annual, which will switch it to $11.99 a month. And, and unless they fixed it, if you do it that way, they only charge you $11.99 a month. They don't actually charge you annually. So that's a good deal. The other thing that I want to mention is that we've looked at our stats and only 2% of you are actual subscribers. And aside from the fact that we want those numbers to go up, when we have technology like this, you don't know to search for it. Did you know that Shadow has been around for two years? Two years. You're just hearing about it now because we're bringing it to you in this video. You wouldn't necessarily know to, to search for it. We encourage you to become a member of our family so that when we find the technology that we think can help, we can bring it to you. You'll be the first on your block to know about amazing technology. Speaking of amazing, there is a strange connection between the TV show UFO and the Marvel Universe. Colonel Virginia Lake, excellent character, is actually the mother of Benedict Cumberpatch, which is Doctor Strange in the Marvel movies. Little fun fact there. Until the next time, this is Orman Beckles, aka the High Tech Nomad, signing.